Hey, what's up, people? Uh, so yeah, this is a. If you're interested in disabling the CO sensor on your generator on this model, uh, just do it at your own risk. I won't take any responsibility for anything that happens. But if you know what you're doing and you have a good reason and you want to disable the sensor, uh, then this is what I did. And this is the 201153, 2500 watt gas only champion. So, if you look here, this is where the, uh, the CO sensor is, right here. This whole unit is the module. And this little plug right here, basically, you can disconnect it like that. And there's a black wire, top middle one here. And what I did is I pulled it out and put a piece of tape over it. But it's this one right. I don't know if you can see that, not right there. Yeah, so you just pull that out, plug that back in, and just tape that up if you want. And that way, if you want to put it back, you can. But it runs fine with that disconnected, and the CO2 sensor still works. So the light will go off, but it won't it won't shut off on you. So let's see if I can get this started with one hand here. Let me just hold this. Yeah, so you can see it's doing a self-test. The CO sensor. But runs fine. I'll even plug this in to show you. Yeah, let's turn this on. It's yeah, shut her down. Yeah, so if you want to disable it, some people have trouble with it, and. Um, you know, and you know what you're doing. Uh, I'll just give you a warning that don't do it if you don't, you know, you're afraid of something's going to happen. Keep it, keep it there. But if you're, like I got mine set up 25 feet away from my cabin um, in a little shack. And uh, <clears throat> it's fine. It gets a little bit of CO2 in that shack because it's got sides on it. On one, but the front and back is open. So if I would have left that on, it would have shut right off. And uh, I'll attach a video at the end of this, showing the little video I took of it running in that little shack. And the light was flashing, but still stayed running. So anyway, that's over for this part. Thanks for listening.